there's something that God is asking me to pray and cancel. This thing that I want to pray and cancel is sudden death. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Good. This is a question. Do you know anybody with the name Deborah? Yes. Huh? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is Deborah. Yes, sir. Is she taller than you? We are almost we are, the same. You're like almost the same. Yes, sir. Aha. So that's, I think that's the person I'm seeing. Because I looked at you and I saw somebody like you. Yes, Are you fair, like everything like that? Uh huh. So we'll come to Deborah. Where is Deborah? Is she is she in school? In, like she's school a or student. something? She's a student. But she's currently in She's a student yes, in sir. Unime. Yes, sir. But she's not in Beidugu. Yes. Clap for Jesus. And when this Deborah returns, bring her to see me. I want to talk to her about relationships. Ah. Huh? We can't talk about it here. You know what I'm talking about? Yes bring her to come and see me we need to talk about because i don't want her to become confused and keep missing the whole thing all right because even now said there are some mistakes that have already been made and then she needs to be serious with god because that's where the thing starts from yes. because i'm seeing some cluster of strange relationship i see three True. ladies around her yes this three ladies well this is on camera let's keep quiet and leave it there so she needs to get her relationship with God correct and then she needs to keep away some friends. Yes, sir. Otherwise, this cycle will continue. Has she traveled to Abuja recently? Huh? I don't even know. You, you know her? Me. You know her? Yes. Oh, that's your brother? Yes, sir. She, she traveled to Abuja. She's in Abuja presently. Well, hello there and welcome once again. This is Jonathan Lagang and I bring you a prophetic word from the Lord. This is uh, about 13 minutes past the hour of 6 a.m. in the morning, Nigerian time. Um, today is the 25th of August, 2024. So this is just morning. As a matter of fact, I just finished a broadcast, a live broadcast, a prayer broadcast we do uh, the last seven days of the year. And I, I felt the impulse to really share this word and um, to get it to us and hopefully to get it to the people involved. Now, the Bible says in Amos chapter 3, in verse 7, that surely the Lord does nothing except he reveals it to his servants, the prophet. God will always send human representations of his voice to speak for his counsel and to declare his purpose to his people before it comes to pass. God will always send his servants to forewarn his people of certain dangers ahead so that it can either be averted or so that they can exempt it. So God will never leave himself without a witness. As far as the purpose of God on earth is concerned, it begins by him speaking to his people. And in every season, in every generation, God raises prophetic voices that he speaks forth, through which he speaks forth his purposes. And you have to understand that they must not be popular people or famous or social media sensational stars um, by by human opinions they may not have what it takes to be influential but you see those things count for nothing before god the bible says in psalm 75 that god is the judge of all he exalts one he brings down an order all that you need to do when god sends you is to deliver his counsel to the people or the persons involved now this is a disclaimer this is not a publicity stunt this is not a quest to become famous this is not uh, this is not a trick to grow our online presence on social media this is strictly delivering the counsel of god as he has declared and it is our duty and our job to speak for to 
the people everything that the Lord tells us. So God gave me a prophetic word for a couple um, that should be referred to as a celebrity couple. Both of them successful in their various professions and having a very good life for themselves. And this word came to me on Thursday the 22nd of August 2024 while in prayer. Um, a word of the Lord for a couple, Simon Bills and Jonathan Owens. Now, Simon Bills, Bills is a two-time Olympic gold medalist, as I have fact-checked, if I'm correct. He's a two-time Olympic gold medalist in gymnastics um, in the recently concluded um, Olympics in Paris, France. She won, a, she won gold medals. Um, so she's a successful gymnast and her husband, Jonathan Owens, is a successful NFL star in the United States. And so both of them are doing very well in their various fields. They are celebrities and um, doing fine for themselves. And while in prayer, the Lord spoke to me about this couple and gave me this word that I want to share. And I want you to please help us get this message out there. Share it with as many as you can. I pray and hope that it gets to the couple so that they can be aware of what lies ahead and be able to reposition themselves to walk in favor or in keeping with God's plans for them. Now, I want to read two scriptures before I go into the prophetic word. First of all, I want to read from the Bible in Isaiah chapter 45 from verse 1. He says, Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by name, by your name, I am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called you by your name. I have named you, though you have not known me. Now, Cyrus was a hidden king that this prophecy was related to. And this prophecy was written several years before Cyrus was born. But God, through his prophet Isaiah, was able to spot into the future that there was going to be a Gentile individual named Cyrus, whom God was going to exalt to make king and who was going to rule over the world at that time, at that civilization. And Cyrus became instrumental in the returning of the captives of the children of Judah back to their homeland and in the rebuilding of the walls and the temple in jerusalem though he was a hidden king but god used him and you see emphasis in verse 4 it says for jacob my servant's sake and israel my elect because of god's people god can position certain men in the corridors of power in the seats of authority so that he can manipulate them to fulfill his counsel or to be favorably disposed to God's people. So even though Cyrus was not a Jew, Cyrus was not a believer, um, he was called by God. He was predestined by God. This was his purpose, that he will be used by God to bring about the return from captivity and the rebuilding of the nation of Israel. Because this is how God works. For God, as far as God is concerned, every man belongs to him. The Bible says in, in Ezekiel 18, it says, All souls are mine. And he is also called the God of all flesh. So it has nothing to do with religion. God can choose or decide on using any man to fulfill his counsel. I'll also want to read Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5. From verse 4, rather. The, then the Lord, word of the Lord came to me, saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you. 
I ordained you a prophet to the nations. This speaks of God's predestined plan for Jeremiah. He says, I knew you and I sanctified you. I separated you. I ordained you from your mother's womb to this cause. Now, I had to read these two scriptures to set up the pedestal for what I'm about to say. Because many times we get to think or believe that God should not speak about certain people. Maybe because they don't publicly profess Christ or maybe because they don't publicly subscribe to the religion of Christianity. But you see, God is the creator of the universe. He's the creator of all men. He has designed his purpose for each and every man that is on this earth. And at any point in time in the history of the existence of that individual, God can speak forth his purposes uh, to the hearing of that individual. So God gave me this prophetic word for this couple and I want to share it uh, today and, and be as detailed as I can about it. Remember, this is not a publicity stunt. This is not a trick to grow online presence. This is not uh, a, a secret towards uh, expanding our online reach. No, this is purely the word of the Lord as delivered. And I tell you the truth, I, I, I think of myself like Amos. In Amos chapter 7, Amos was a prophet that God raised at a time in the nation of Israel. And people were not happy with his prophetic words. And, and you know, he was told to go somewhere else and prophesy. And Amos told them that I was a farmer and a, a, a rearer of sheep, of cattle, when God chose me. God did not choose me to deliver this word because I'm popular or famous or because of any human criteria. I am simply chosen by God to deliver his word. Reasons I don't know. But this is what the Lord has given to me to give to these people. Now, Simon Bills is a two-time Olympic gold medalist uh, in the sports of gymnastics in the recently concluded Olympic Games in Paris, France. She was successful with gold medals. And her husband, Jonathan Owens, is an NFL star in the United States of America. So both of them are successful in their sports. They are married, uh, what you would refer to as a power couple, and doing great for themselves. And prior to this time, I have no form of connection with them whatsoever. I am speaking to you right now from the city of Meiduguri, a place that has been referred to as the epicenter of Boko Haram terrorism for several years. I'm speaking to you from Meiduguri, Nigeria, West Africa. So I have no connection with them. I've never been to the United States. I've never been outside of Nigeria. This is just expressly a word from God that I believe should get to them. God gave me a word for the husband, Jonathan Owens. God said he is going to use him greatly. That before he was formed in his, mother womb, in his mother's womb, God had chosen him. God has ordained him for a greater cause, much more than being a footballer. God said he was going to make him a pastor and a preacher. That a season will come in his life uh, where he will, he will encounter God through certain situations. Certain things will happen around him and in the midst of those circumstances or situations, he will have an encounter with God that will bring about a rapid transformation. This transformation will turn him into becoming a servant of God, into becoming a pastor and a preacher of the gospel. And uh, God is going to give him a heart for the younger generation in America. As a matter of fact, there is a mandate on his life uh, as touching the younger generation in America. And so you are going to see somebody who is going to daily rise and grow in influence. Uh, especially among the younger generation in America. God is going to use him greatly amongst the youth and teenagers. He's going to be a major influence to young footballers 
uh, and even NBA stars is going to be a major influence. So you are going to see from now, uh, he's going to grow in influence, more endorsement deals coming, more doors opening for him. He's just going to keep growing in influence, you know, day by day. And all of this is coming together because of what God wants to do with him. And so he's going to be used by God for the younger generation. In fact, I even saw a time came where God was going to so bless him that he will either coach a football team or he will own a football team. Emphasis on owning a football team. Now, Michael Jordan is, one, is considered one of the richest black people in America. And partly is because he holds a major stake in... Uh, uh, a football, a, 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 an NBA team, uh, and because of that, he is his net worth is over 1.7 or so billion dollars. So, uh, God is going to bless Jonathan Owens like this. He's, he's going to own his own football team, or he's going to be in charge of a football team, something like that. And uh, God is really, really going to make him great and make him influential among the younger generation. And God is going to use him as an ambassador for the kingdom. He's going to represent the kingdom of God. And he's going to be a preacher of righteousness that will turn the hearts of many young people to God. You know, like the Bible says in Malachi, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. God is going to use him as one of his ambassadors that would turn the hearts of the younger generation back to God. I saw that he was going to lead a campaign against drug abuse, drug and substance abuse amongst the young people. As a matter of fact, he was going to have something like a foundation that is set up and they were going to be going from state to state in America bringing a lot of young people out of the bondage of drugs and substance abuse, offering rehabilitational services, health care, talks, and many of these things that they were going to do to help bring liberation to the younger generation from drugs, from substance abuse. I saw that God was going to use him so well around that and um, to bring a lot of emotional healing and spiritual healing to the younger generation in America. God is going to give him a soft heart, the heart of a shepherd, to pastor people, to be open to people, to accommodate people. And that means that his wife, the successful Olympic gold medalist in gymnastics, Simon Bills, well, would have to be ready to be a pastor's wife because God is going to open their hearts, both their hearts, and use them to really influence uh, the younger generation in America. God says that they were also going to have some tough times in their marriage ahead, and so they should be prepared, but that they should not be afraid. God says he will stand by them and keep them. In Psalms 121 verse 5, the Bible says that God is, is your keeper and the, the shade upon your right hand. God says he will stand by them. He will keep them through those troubled times in their marriage if they keep their mind stayed on him. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says he shall keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him because he trusts in him. So if they can trust God and stand with God, he was going to keep them through those troubled times and they were going to triumph and come out into a glorious season in their marriage i saw that god was going to give them about two beautiful children now i don't know if there will be more but i saw two beautiful children that god was going to give to them a boy and a girl i don't know if there are going to be more but i saw a boy and a girl that god was going to give to them and i don't know when or what time or how but God was going to bless them with two beautiful children that will be great in their prime, in their time. So this is the word of the Lord to the both of them. This will be a season to begin to turn to God and to seek God for both, uh, for, for the couple. 
I don't know them. I don't know their religion. I don't know if they are Christians. I don't know what faith they uphold. But this is the God of the universe telling them of his plan and his intentions. You have to understand that predestination is powerful. God has predestined us even before we came uh, on this earth. Everything we are living in our lives on earth is just is merely a script uh, that has been written in eternity. God is going to use them. God is going to encounter them. And God is going to greatly use them. They will both grow in influence continually. I see more endorsement deals coming for both of them. They will become brand ambassadors to several brands. They will just keep growing and increasing in influence. God is going to keep them. Um, I see an injury that will look like it was going to threaten uh, the career of the woman. But God is going to heal her. She's going to recuperate and she's going to get back on track. I see that God is also going to use her among young ladies. That's what I see. I see her around younger girls. And I see God really using her as a source of motivation and inspiration to younger ladies. God is going to keep them together because they have a destiny together. In a time when marriages seem to experience divorce, here and there, especially around celebrities, God is going to keep them together. But it is also their duty to decide to stay together because we need to learn that God partners with us to bring about the fulfillment of his purpose. God wants them together. God wants to keep them together. And they must learn to be committed to each other and to stay together. So this is the word that the Lord gave me for this couple, specifically for the husband, Jonathan Owens, but um, generally for the both of them. The Bible says in Amos chapter 3, verse 7 to 8, that the Lord does nothing without revealing it to, to his servants, the prophets. The Bible says the Lord has spoken, who can but prophesy? God has given me this word to give to them. I don't know why God had to send me with this word. I don't know why God had to tell me about them. Prior before now, I have not had any interest in them. But this is just God speaking to me in my private time of prayer. Like I said, this is not a publicity stunt. No, this is not looking for fame or trying to uh, take advantage of their uh, credible social capital or their influential figures um, in, in the internet space. No, this is just simply delivering a word that should get to them and i know anyone watching this video or will watch this video who is born again and has the holy spirit would discern in their heart that this is purely coming from god i pray that this word will get to them i pray for that couple that god will keep them together that god will strengthen them that they will grow that they will come to know the lord that they will become influential and great and become ambassadors for the kingdom of god more things that the Lord will share with me about them, I will come on this platform again and release it. But please do well to help us share this with as many as you can. I pray that this word will get to them so that they can understand how to navigate the next seasons of their life. So thank you so much uh, for paying attention to this video up till this time. There are several other videos you will find uh other prophetic words that i had given that um, needs to go out needs to be spread that god will bless us and this is just an encouragement to somebody out there you know god is speaking to you about things about people about nations about events you don't have to be popular god does not use people because of their social or material capital god does not use you because of any qualification you have in the natural God takes pleasure in using the foolish things of this world to confound the wisdom of the wise. He uses the weak things and the things that are not and the things that are base to confound the strong. All right, it is all for his glory. So be confident. If God has given you a word, get on the internet. If God has released you, share it or get to the people, share it with them. Don't be concerned about how people will feel about it don't be concerned about people's opinion you are sent by god not by people every man is entitled to his opinion um 
they can say whatever they want to say but you know that you've heard god and so release that word so that the people affected can get to know what god is saying get to know the mind of god and be well positioned our generation is in dire need of men that can hear the voice of god and i believe that god will open our ears to hear from him and our eyes to see what he's doing so we can partner with him so thank you so much for now uh do well to share this word with as many as you can more prophetic words will come and we will release it god bless you and bye for now